Hi, I'm Anna Padres. And I'm Keith Norval. And we are here in our painting studio. We're both painters here in Raleigh. Um, this is an example of something that I painted and it's kind of like an abstract uh, house. You can see it's really colorful. I like to paint with oil paints. And here's one of mine. This one is also an oil painting. So you can see it's like an owl family. And I like to do really simple geometric shapes and then like have fun playing around with the brushwork and building up the paint colors. So we are here today to show you guys how to mix your colors and do your little part for the horse mural, the Mustang mural at Martin. For this next piece, I'm using Van Gogh for inspiration. So you can see all the really chunky brush strokes that he has. So I'm going to try to recreate that. Okay, so we are working with bag number 793 to 916. So this palette is more, um, we're in tra transitioning from blues to a little purple. So we have ultramarine. We have cerulean blue and a quinacridone violet. So you want to get your tie back. And then I'm going to tape it down. Um, you know, make sure you have your work space ready to go. Uh, we don't care about this table, but you may want to put newspaper down. And then uh, you want some kind of paper or palette, like a paper plate could work. I'm using this paint lid. You can also use these kind of little palettes. So, um, you know, I'm looking at how Van Gogh did his brushwork, and I'm going to try to recreate that. So the first thing I'll do is mix up a couple colors just with the paints I have. So I'm going to do some of this violet. And then some of the cerulean blue. So I'm going to mix violet into both of these colors. And then just see what variations I get with that. So this is the ultramarine blue. two different kind of darker purpley blues. All right, so at this point, let's start doing some brush strokes. And I like to get a little bit of the other color on the end of my brush and try to blend them. And you can kind of watch, you know, you can see if you've got enough color variation there or not. You can also go back over it if you need to add. I'm gonna do some of this over that color and drop in some of this color I mixed. So I can do some more jagged shape brush strokes if I want. So if you want, you can really try to build up that paint and get it nice and thick on there. So I've got a big, big blob. And then just, if you build it out really thick, be sure just to let it dry overnight before you try to move it. So 
So this all nice looks kind of like a, it's like an ocean, the waves coming up. So you guys, if you want to leave some of the white showing through, you can do that. Or if you want to cover up the entire piece of Tyvek, you can do that too. And you can also, if you want, let this dry and then go back with more paint and really, you know, add even more if you would like. Another blob of purple. Okay, so I think that looks pretty satisfying to me. So we'll leave it at that and let it dry. All right, I'm going to use Miro as inspiration and try to do some of his fun shapes and line work. Okay, so I am getting started on my Miro inspired piece. So um, we've got violet, ultramarine blue, and then we have a more greenish cerulean, like a green cerulean blue. It's not really green, but it, it's more green. So I am going to take the violet and just add a little water to it and try to thin it out a lot because all these colors are pretty dark so I want to lighten this one and the way you can lighten it is by just thinning it out and you apply it first and then the white of the paper or the Tyvek will show through and um, you'll end up with a lighter color and then while it's still wet if you want, you can try to wipe the extra off. And then um, you get kind of a cool texture that way with the Tyvek. Okay, so now I'm going to use this little brush. And I also watered down the blue a little bit. Because um, I can make a thinner line if I add a little water. So... One thing I remember about the painting I was just looking at was it had kind of a snaky shape in it. And so I'm going to do a few of those. If you want to draw a really skinny line with your paintbrush, hold your paintbrush straight up and down. And then, like I said, you can add a little, you can bring some over to the palette and just add a little water, mix a little water in. And then it should be, you should be able to paint. If you have a thin brush, you should be able to paint a pretty skinny line. Okay, so that's with my ultramarine blue. And so I'm going to try some with my cerulean blue now. Again, I'm watering it down a bit. So... has these kind of funny shapes. You can tell definitely that this blue has got a greener tone than the ultramarine. So like when I put it next to that blue, it looks almost like turquoise. It also has a different look on the lighter purple background than it does on the darker. So this is just like a good artist to pick if you just like to doodle and let your mind wander a little bit. You can kind of just go with these little line shapes. And um, now I'm using this dark purple that Keith mixed up a minute ago. And you can just kind of, he has almost like some little flying creature looking things, but not, not totally... Now I'm just making it more abstract by changing it around. And then you can just do some circles, do some dots, more lines. Let's see, I think I'll do some more ultramarine. 
You can fill some of this stuff in too if you want. Okay, I think I am done. So now I just let it dry, and then when you get to that point, you mail it back to Martin once it's dry. Um, so you guys can use, you know, the Miro technique if you want to. You can do like what Keith did with the Van Gogh, or you can go through the other videos and learn about other artists and try different techniques. Or if you have an idea you want to try, you can just do your own thing.